morning it's the 17th of december and um, it's my day off and it's actually only 7 35. i woke up at 10 to 7 which is my normalish wake up time um but on a work day i do find it very hard to drag myself out of bed this morning up up on adam um i did also kind of realized that i'd not edited a video to go out today so <clears throat> I got get up. Uh, we want to be leaving here about nine ish, quarter past nine, anyway. So I thought I could get up, <coughs> get a video edited um, and published, and then I still have time to kind of get ready um, and go out. <sighs> now I'm up, I feel shattered, but. I think if I'd have gone back to bed, I probably would have just like slept all dinner time. So I think it's a good thing that I'm up. Um, put I've put some washing in, and I need to clear off what's on the bed because my um, yellowy coloured bedding is on there from yesterday and a few more bits. But <coughs> it's got plenty of time. Plenty of time to do that. Right, I'm gonna go and put memory card in and get editing. Trevor Centre, it isn't too busy and they've got a really good one way system in place which I'm really happy about. Evening, happy Thursday. Um, it's, I've no idea what time it is, don't know why I always have to tell you. Do you like a time check though? Um, 10 to 7. We got back from town about half two. Uh, then I went on my work Christmas. Instead of a Christmas meal, we had like a quiz, um, and they've given us fifteen pound just to eat voucher. So, um, because I was off today, I wasn't going to join in, but because we were home in time, I thought, do you know what? Let's join in. So. We got the tram to the traffic centre, which was f was fine. We had a man get on, maybe Victoria, um, and he kept taking his mask off and he kept shouting things like he was five foot, six foot, four foot, six foot, and then this word that I don't know what it means, but I think it's quite derogatory. I don't think it's like racial abuse, but it wasn't. You wouldn't say it to someone in person. Well, I wouldn't at least. Um, but then he kept like shouting, "I, I, you!" But you didn't want to. I don't think he would have got up and done anything. But you know, and it's just a bit like, mm, "I'm glad I'm not on my own." Um, so we changed at car, but got to the traffic centre, and we got off at I think it's called Bath and Dock, which is actually just right at the side of the new Primark. Um, 
and it was pretty quiet in Primer. We found a few things and we had planned to come back because the Primark is in like a new section and there's like a link bridge to the main but it's quite a long walk um I went in type oh I did buy something from type I've left it downstairs um I bought a Christmas decoration that's heart shaped and it says anti-social um where else did I go went in M&S and got us a meal deal um, some common caterpillar rainbows which are really nice some Christmas tree crumpets maybe that was it oh and some like snacky bits then met my mum and we went outside and we were like right we'll go and get the tram and we could see the tram stop and we just couldn't work out how to get there without having to like scale a fence so we, walked, we were like right we'll go to the other tram stop walked up on my phone because we were in the car park I don't think it knew where we were so and we've never been I, the last time I went to the traffic centre the tram wasn't open so we went inside couldn't find anyone to ask even though when we've been in the first time they had like staff positioned at every major junction because there's a really good one way system in place no staff so I was like, well, I know where the bus station is. It can't be far from the bus station. Got down there. And so where had we gone outside originally? So in the traffic centre, Selfridges is like slap bang in the middle. You've got John Lewis at one far end and Debenhams at the far, other far end. We'd gone out somewhere between Selfridges and John Lewis. And we'd gone outside. We came back in the next, either at Selfridges or the next one up from Selfridges or down from it, I don't know. Somewhere between where we'd gone out and Selfridges. So we came back, walked all the way up to Debenhams, went down to the bus station, and I was like, right, let me just put it in Google Maps. So where we'd been originally, it said it was four minutes to the tram stop. Got inside, got into the city, it was 11 minutes, so the tram stop. So, so I put it on Google Maps, zoomed in, and you've got Selfridges in the middle, and then the tram stop is in line with Selfridges. So we must have just been like that much off it. It was like so frustrating. Um, but never mind, in the Trafford Centre, I also went in Selfridges and I went to the Muji concession and I bought two of these drugs. I already have one. I had one from years ago that I got in Birmingham um, and this was reduced to 19.95, which sounds a lot but they are really good quality. They should have been 25 quid. I kind of wish I'd got a third one but they were really heavy to carry on so I don't think I could have done. Um, and on my shelves, two of them fit perfectly. So I need someone to sort out and put stuff in them. Then, what's in here? Oh, that's my shine order. Right, I don't know how to say it. Shane, shine, that cheap company. I don't know how to say it, but I did an order with them. Um, and it's arrived, but I think I'm going to do that as a separate video because there's loads of stuff. This t shirt is one of them, and it's really soft and it's really stretchy. And it's really comfortable. I put this on when I got home because we had to wear Christmas apparel for the quiz. But you couldn't actually see because everyone was like from there up. Um, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I got 12 things. show you that in another video um anyway then we got the tram back to manchester and the trafford center tram only goes as far as a place called cornbrook so there 
and then that's kind of like a major intersection so we could have got a tram home from there but the first tram that came was going to victoria station so we got on it and got off in city centre um we went had a quick look in primark and it was pretty quiet there was queues but the two downstairs tills the main tills were open and they didn't they didn't have a massive queue um i wanted to go in kenji but we just totally forgot uh, then we went in sostra and gwen and I, I spent 18 quid i've not got everything here because some of it was from when it's downstairs but i will show you the bits i've got here um so i bought this christmas ornament there's like a little sledge that was £1.19 and I love it it's probably too big for this tree but stuff it um, I also got this Christmas tree which was £2.20 I didn't realise it was that much metallic hat and that was 80p that's more like it and then I've got six glass ornaments these are different shades Right, okay, so I've got this one that looks a bit like a light bulb. Um, a silver acorn, which I've already got one of those. And then a dark grey acorn. Now, they had a red acorn as well, which I regret not getting. Um, the heart-shaped one that I showed you. And then this. I don't know, it's a bit... Moroccan-y. We are planning on going back to the city centre tomorrow, um, so I might pop back in. But I just love them. Right, I'm going to shoot off now. I'm going to end today here and I will speak to you tomorrow. I'm back again because I forgot we need to open the bathroom. So. Seventeen. So we get to open number nine, which is this one. I don't know what this one smells like. I don't know what any of them smell like, do I, to be fair. Mmm. Massive as well. I can't believe there's only three left. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. That is chunky. That is, that is weighty. So I will say good night. Thank you very much for watching, um, and I will see you tomorrow. Also, if you would like, please subscribe. Um, it really does mean a lot to me to see new subscribers, and I've had a couple recently, um, which is a really nice feeling. It's so much nicer to see them going up rather than down. Um, but yeah, I would appreciate it if you do, um, if you do subscribe as well. So thank you. Bye morning it's the 18th of december 
Um, and we're going to go to Manchester today. Um, it's the end of Friday now, so I just wanted to sort of come on and say goodnight. I totally forgot to edit any video at all for tonight, uh, for today. <laughs> so, oops, I have just uploaded an absolutely ridiculous one minute video that I've just recorded on my phone. In fact, has it gone up? Nearly. And... Is it going to focus? I mean, it's still processing. Uh, the title is The Day I Forgot to Upload a Video. Um, something ridiculous. That's still going. But, oh well. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely sh shattered. My two days off have not benefited me at all. Um, sorry, one of the <laughs> clippy things has come off, so I was trying to fix it. Meh, it'll be right. I'll just leave it. I don't think it's ripped the wallpaper. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm exhausted. So Manchester was good today. Um, I've had it quite hard to film, but such is life. Bought more decorations and finally got to Kenji. There is two Kenjis at the moment. There is a new store. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be but it's a whole lot better than the other one. The other one um, you kind of had an aisle, two aisles basically so stuff on each wall and then a centre. Um, this one is bigger is it deeper? No, it's probably the same depth. But you've got a till and a cafe and then some little displays and a little back. There's probably one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's quite a lot. In fact, you'll have seen it because I've filmed bits of it. It probably won't actually show you a good layout of the store. But, yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, I went in both of them and I spent maybe about 18 in one or 14 in the other. But that did include snacks. And I bought a drink and it was horrible. 
and I literally, as soon as I opened it, I thought I've smelt this before and I've made the same mistake before. But, oh well, never mind. Right, I am exhausted, so I'm going to say goodnight and I will see you at some point in the future, whenever this goes up.